obviously, when we're talking about leadership, there are so many different approaches you can take to it, and all of us have taken our own unique approach to leadership and what to do with it and how to develop it. And our marvelous Liz will tell us later how to make our fortune from it. And in the meantime, before we can make our fortune from being effective leaders, effective is a strong word here, it's important to go back and look at how do we claim and own our own leadership extremely, extremely powerful because we are all born leaders. Leadership is not a skill that's given to a few. Every one of us have it and the way to start claiming it is to claim leadership in your own life. All right? And what I'm going to do today is some of the work that has been done by an amazing man that I have come to know and studied with, Lance Sefferton. And as with all of the things I've done with dozens of years in education, is try to find the most effective and most efficient way to present material. And Lance has done this in a fantastic way you have on your handouts, the Y, the B, and the do. And I will take his work and share that with you because I find it immensely profound. All right? So let's take a look first at your why. We've discussed it in two different approaches with two different phenomenal speakers, each presenting it from their own way. I will bring in mine and show you my perspective on this. My approach to most everything I do is immensely spiritual and immensely pragmatic. Because I think we need to combine, we're about my beliefs, my faith system, we're embodied souls, or embodied essences, whatever you're comfortable with. So there's very much a spiritual element to us, but an immensely pragmatic element that we have to deal with and work with all the time, all right? So that being the case, let's take a look at this. Your why. Your why is what absolutely feeds your heart, it feeds your soul, it allows you to know why you're here. You know, there's someone that says uh, frequently, the two best days of your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. Mm -hmm. And so many people that I've worked with, I have been, for those who don't know me, I was a therapist for over 30 years. My doctorate is in psychology. So I was a therapist for over 30 years and I've been a coach for about eight years. And so I have worked with so many, many people wondering about their why as if this was some nebulous, esoteric thing that there was no way to discover. And what I have found out is that with most everything in life, there's a very pragmatic way to discover your why. And the most pragmatic way of doing this is go back and take a look at your history. Why are you living? What is it that fills you with passion? Why do you think you came here? And the most important way to discover that simply <coughs> is to recognize that we came here to teach what we came here to learn. And as you look over your life, what is the major life lesson you have learned through your journey? I would like to take you back a little bit to look at that and do it if you can without drama or trauma. <laughs> drama or trauma is a perspective that has nothing to do with reality. It is an overreaction to your history or to an event. Let me step back and look at this. Can you see how there's a consistent message, a consistent pattern for every one of us? Mm -hmm. You need to be willing to look at yours, taking all the victim, the illusions of victim out, taking the illusions of powerlessness out, taking the illusions out of it. You may have been caught off guard in a situation or a child innocent in a situation, but never a victim. That is a mindset that keeps you small. We are called to be bigger than life. We are not called to be small. So my why becomes 
anything is possible.